All right, I think a good place to start is going to be this box, disassembling it and the bolsters, and then working my way around and taking out this bin and wall. Well, it's the end of the first day of demolition, and it was a tough day. There was good stuff and bad stuff. I tell you, if this had been an RV, I would have been able to rip this stuff out by hand, thin plywood and glue on, but this was three quarter inch marine grade plywood in huge pieces. All the cabinets were assembled outside of the ambulance and put in all at once so you couldn't disassemble it. I started trying to just do, un un do all the screws and pull things out and that became useless. So then I got a saw saw out and I just started cutting out little chunks and little chunks of wood. I have a pile outside there and that was going good until I got to the first box and I thought these were fiberglass and if they were fiberglass this would have been a piece of cake to cut them out. So the good news is it's a very strong, very tough stuff, but getting, you just have to cut and pull. And then I tried to saw with my saw saw metal blade and it just ate up the blade and found out there is a long-term roof or there's a wrong long-term leak in the wall. And so good news is there was, they have a nice thick batten insulation, fiberglass insulation. So I took that out cause it was wet. But evidently this has been happening a long time. But the plywood is of such good quality that it never discolored. So um, that's what leads me to agree to it is marine grade. So I'll just have to diagnose that. It could be the window. It could be where they put an antenna in the roof. That'll, that should be an easy fix. But the good news is I found it. So that was the plus side there. And also got a lot of extra space. This thing is built so well. Um, that's what I came kept telling myself. I cannot believe how strong and how sturdy this is built. Look at the size. This is, this is all a welded cage of aluminum. Look how thick that is. I have no idea how thick that is. The great news is you screw something in there and it's gonna stay. Uh, so uh, all that has gotta come out and there's steel boxes and or uh, aluminum boxes there. So all in all, good day, tough day, long day. Well, one something I'm learning about a MAV. A MAV is built for fire rescue. And I was wondering what the difference is between a MAV and a regular ambulance, and I'm finding out it's on the inside. Everything is built to much higher standards, much stronger, much thicker. For example, I thought this was gonna be fiberglass, then I thought it was aluminum, and I found out last night it's none of the above. Let me show you an example of how tough this thing is. So these are thicker than a regular one. Now this, this I believe, I'm pretty sure is aluminum. Nothing, nothing beats it. Now watch this. I tried to drill a hole in this last night and I discovered what this is. That is eighth inch stainless steel. The plus side is this thing is just gonna be bulletproof. And also, since this was used for fire rescue, it was exposed to a lot of smoke. So every time I open up something, there is soot inside. So at the end of the day, I'm totally covered in black soot. But I think in a regular ambulance you would not run into that. So today's job is going to be going outside to this bin and start disassembling this bin in here. There's a lot of metal. I don't know if there's any scrap value in stainless steel. But you can see the thickness of this metal. I think this is aluminum here. So a lot of good bits and pieces of aluminum and brackets and shelving that could be reused. Uh, I think once I get through the demolition or at least once I get through the bins, everything's gonna be easier. Cause I think this one over here is gonna be all wood and aluminum. There is a there is a big metal bin in here, but it's not gonna be as massive as this, as this thing here. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh, that's big. And you gotta avoid chopping up the wires. Uh, but neat pieces like this. This is a real nice stainless steel handle. And uh, some more pieces here might be able to reuse in a nice way. So the people over at Lowe's were very helpful and got me the right tools for the job. And I'll show you that. So I was able to get the bin, those two bins cut out. That took all day to do that. And I'm thinking about framing this door in with a screen because it's so big and it goes floor to ceiling and that would provide some wonderful ventilation. So maybe frame that out, um, pull out all the insulation out of here. We'll re-insulate and seal these lights and give you a little bit of water leakage in the corner of these lights. So I'm going to seal all these lights up as far as the tools. So the saw ended up doing the trick and what I needed to get was this one 
it says it's for medium to thick metal and then they clued me into this this is awesome so what this is it's got a little torque end on this bit so i had these these screws are stainless steel and, and then they've been coated over so they were really stuck and my other bit just snapped on the end here it couldn't take it so i've used this one and that little bit of twist here really gives it more torque so right here at the top this is quarter inch stainless steel but i was still able to just take that um, zasa and just go slow and i was able to cut through it now they also since this was stainless steel to aluminum, it's, it wasn't welded. I found out it was glue, but it was an incredibly tough glue. And I have to just take little sections and bend it, but it will break off. I got the lower bends cut down. And I started up here, and I thought I had it down. I, I found every single screw, every single bolt. Took them all out. And they are separated here. But this cabinet will not budge. So I'm gonna to have to start cutting it apart. So I solved the question of why the cabinets were not coming out when I took out all the bolts. And as you can see, all these staples here, those are stapled from the back side. This is all one piece of continuous wood all the way across here. So these were built outside of the unit and then slid back in all as one ginormous unit. So. I'm not gonna be able to save the, these cabinets here. I'm gonna keep these, keep all this in here. Um, take that out here and all this out here. So just gonna kinda keep hacking at it. Got a blower back here for ventilation and there was no insulation back in here. So it was a good thing I opened that up. This I believe is the disconnect uh, breaker box when you plug it into external power.